free will. Do human beings have free will? We think we do, but I don't believe so. Human beings, for the most part, have free will. To some extent. We're not always free to do everything, which I think it should be. I think it should be left like that. Uh, I don't believe so, no. Yes, in my opinion, I believe that humans have free will. I mean, you're not, I don't believe that you're just, li that you're living your life under somebody's control. Free will. I think we do, we do have free will. We do have free will. But that free will is also suppressed by social norms. No, actually, no. I don't think human. I don't think human beings have free will. <laughs> um, yes. Well, we think we do, but in truth, I don't think we do. Yes. 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 Yes and no. Yes, or they should. Uh, in some cases. Yes. All human beings have the free will to choose between moral behavior and immoral behavior. We have a choice as a people. We can use our free will to change our behavior and bring it into alignment with natural law by choosing morally right action. Or we can choose to behave immorally by condoning and perpetuating a system based in violence, coercion, and moral relativism. Will we continue down the path of slavery, watching our inherent rights stripped from us little by little? Or will we embrace the moral principles of natural law and create a society where each individual's life, rights, and freedom are respected and protected because we recognize our inherent sovereignty and the sovereignty of all other sentient beings. The law of freedom will manifest our reality in either direction based upon our collective moral choices. The Science of Natural Law Our shared human experience on Earth is collectively created and determined by the quality of aggregate human behavior. This demonstrates the effects of the natural laws of behavioral consequence operating within the physical realm. Our free will based behaviors operate in what is known as the plane of causality because our behavior is the underlying cause of the physical manifestations which result in the world. The consequences and repercussions of aggregate human behavior then materialize upon the plane of effects, which constitutes the shared human condition in which all of us must live. Our aggregate thoughts regarding morality are transformed into the aggregate behavior of our species. And that behavior is then transformed into resultant conditions and consequences. Truly, we collectively reap that which we collectively sow. Wrongful action can never create goodness and harmony and right action can never constitute a violation of rights. Two plus two will never equal five, and the apple falling from a tree will never fall upwards in elementary terms. Our behavior creates our circumstances. These dynamics can be repeatedly observed, and their workings can be known as a result of such observation. The study of these dynamics in human society constitutes a science of behavioral consequence. All living beings are endowed with self-ownership as an inherent birthright, and therefore possess the natural right to exercise their own free will to live in sovereignty. 
free from the initiation of harm or coercion by other human beings. These principles of human freedom and rights are the very basis of morality and are governed by the spiritual laws of behavioral consequence. Any and all violations of these principles are wrongdoings, chaotic actions working in direct opposition to the generative, self-ordering dynamics of natural law as designed by creation itself. Though some may attempt to do so, these laws ultimately cannot be worked around, changed, skirted, or bent to suit human whims or desires. To choose to observe the natural rights and sovereignty of other beings is in alignment with spiritual law, and such choice will create the conditions for freedom to manifest upon earth. To choose to conduct wrongdoings in direct violation of these laws will manifest only chaos and suffering. Human behavior is collectively manifested into our physical reality based upon humanity's free will choice whether to act in harmony with natural law, thus creating the conditions of freedom, or to act in opposition to natural law, thus creating the condition of human slavery. These are the universal, moral, spiritual laws of the universe that govern all of humankind. This is the science of natural law. The One Great Work. My unwavering dedication to delivering the message of natural law in every conceivable form for the past 13 years has gone virtually unnoticed by humanity as a whole. And society continues its rapid descent into immorality, chaos, and slavery. Far too few understand or take heed of my warnings, and even fewer speak out to teach others. I am seeking peers and allies in the war for our very freedom that is before us. Our one great work is to end the human condition of slavery. This arduous task begins with the self and extends to our friends and family our communities, and our world. Speaking out is an extreme act of defiance because those who are currently in power seek to keep their power by exploiting the ignorance of mankind. There is so much human ignorance in the world today regarding the issue of morality that the situation can seem hopeless. Becoming aware of the level of ignorance that exists we must also come to see that the only solution to the human condition of slavery is to spread the understanding of natural law and make it common sense knowledge for everyone. The dark occultists who are currently controlling humanity seek to continue to hide this understanding and to prevent it from becoming everyday common sense knowledge on a worldwide scale. Ultimately, this documentary is a call to action for all those who have gained an understanding of natural law and its principles. A lot more teachers are needed to carry this message of freedom to the masses of humanity. There are not yet enough voices doing this. You yourself need to get involved in the effort of spreading the knowledge of natural law. The solution lies in not just knowing it, but in what you do to spread this knowledge once you have come to understand it. Start a podcast, publish a blog, make a video, publish a newsletter, make music and art, contribute resources, do anything and everything you can to make natural law common sense knowledge to people all over the world. Only with a united effort Will we have a fighting chance? 
We need more boots on the ground in this spiritual war for human freedom. Once you have expanded your worldview to encompass an understanding of the science of natural law, it becomes your personal responsibility to help others to learn these inherent governing dynamics of creation. Our very freedom itself depends on it. This has been an introduction to the philosophy and science of natural law. For further study, please watch my full video seminar entitled Natural Law, The Real Law of Attraction and How to Apply It in Your Life. For more information on my work, please visit my website, whatonearthishappening.com. I recommend studying my podcasts in order, starting from number one at your own pace and watching my video presentations and seminars. Thank you so much for your time and attention.